Konnichiwa everyone! This is part 3 of us showing you different fast food chain restaurants here in Japan. Part 1 we showed you McDonald's, part 2 we showed you Yoshinoya. Today we ordered again 3 different dishes from another super famous fast food chain restaurant here in Japan, Matsuya. My name is Hannah and this is What You Hannah Do, Matsuya in Japan. Woo! What you Hannah do, what you Hannah do when they come for you? So we're at the park again because it's so much more comfortable eating at the park instead of a smaller restaurant. We get fresh air and it's so nice out today. We ordered three different dishes. We ordered Matsuya's gyudon, which they call gyumeshi. We ordered this barbecue yakiniku with kimchi. And we also ordered this grilled chicken with green onion sauce or something like that. Everything looks fantastic. Itadakimasu! First, I'm gonna try their gyudon or gyumeshi. I think this is exactly the same as gyudon. It's just that they call it gyumeshi in Matsuya. Let's give it a try. Mmm. 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 This is pretty good. It's not super duper flavorful, but it's delicious. It's a very nice balance between savory and sweet. I love this. And just like the previous video, we forgot to get the Benny Shoga. So I'm gonna go get that right now <laughs> and put it with the gyudon so I can eat it together. I'm wondering if this Benny Shoga is any different from the Benny Shoga from other gyudon restaurants. It's not that mm. different, mm. still a very strong flavor. Do you see any difference between Matsuya and Yoshinoya? Hmm. Previously, we tried the Yoshinoya Gyudon. I would say it's pretty similar, but just a little bit different. Yoshinoya Gyudon is a lot more savory than sweet. This is more balanced. I would say they're both equally good. To give you a brief history of Matsuya, Matsuya was founded by Mr. Toshio Kawarabuki in 1966. Their first restaurant ever, which opened in 1966, was actually a Chinese restaurant. Two years later, they opened another store, which specialized in beef on rice and set meals, which is what it's known for today. They now have 1,080 restaurants in Japan, and they have stores overseas in China and Taiwan as well. To order, they use the ticket vending machine style that gives you tickets for your orders. They also now have a mobile order option, so you can just order online and pick it up, so you don't have to wait to use the ticket vending machines. Next, I'm gonna try their barbecue yakiniku with kimchi. So I know kimchi is Korean, but Matsuya is very much a Japanese restaurant, so we're gonna give this a try next. And it looks good. I'm excited about this. So I need to get a good amount with everything on it. There we go. Mm. 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 This is good. The kimchi is a little spicy, which is perfect. It's just right. Because you know sometimes kimchi flavor sort of mellowed down a little bit. This one's pretty good. I love it. Sounds like you prefer yakinikudon than gyudon. I don't know. I guess I just might be really biased with yakiniku. I don't know, maybe it's the cut of meat. I just love really flavorful things and gyudon flavors can get really delicate. So it's not as like strong as a yakiniku bowl. This is, this is just delicious. <laughs> and I'm a big fan of kimchi as well. So this is right up my alley. Mm. Mm. Oh, it just started raining. Thankfully, there's a trellis just right above us, but we're gonna do our best to just power through. So last but not least, I'm gonna try their grilled chicken with this green onion sauce. It looks and smells delicious. This is kind of like a wild card menu item. Ah! Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm.
Yo, this is delicious. Oh, I love this. From the three dishes, I think I like the barbecue yakiniku the most. I would say that all the three dishes that I've tried today, pretty good. And I can totally imagine this being comfort food for someone. Mmm. Mmm. Do you guys like green onion? If you do, you're gonna love this. Mm. It's so good. It's a very, very strong peppery taste and it also has a lot of green onions, so it's grassy, a little bitter, slightly pungent, and extremely savory. Delicious. And the chicken, it's cooked really well. It's not dry at all, even though it's grilled. Cooked to perfection. For a fast food chain restaurant and takeout, can't go wrong with this. Can't go wrong. Mmm. 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 Mm. So the chicken is savory, just seasoned with salt and pepper, and the green onion is a little sour. Mm. Actually, it's a good mix of orders. I got everything. I got sweet and savory from the gyudon. I got super savory and spicy from the barbecue yakiniku kimchi bowl. And this one is sour and savory, and a little bit bitter from the green onions. So I got the whole range of flavors from these three dishes. Matsuya, pretty good. Gochiso sama deshita. As usual, I am super full, but it was really, really good. I pleasantly enjoyed all the three dishes. So if you ever do get to come to Japan, come to Matsuya. And let me know in the comments down below which of the three you'd like to try the most. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, click like down below. And if you want to see more content about Japan, you know what to do. So until next time, Janet and see you in the next video. Woo! Thank you! Subscribe, please. Thank you.